Akabo Wakatu. This is Daku, and today I want to talk to you about black self defense. Now, many people say that we always talk about the problem or complain and whine about the problem, but we never come up with solutions. Now, what you see before you is the solution to our problem. And the solution is that we have to, we must develop a defense mechanism. And that defense mechanism is to have the males, black males, black adult males, defend the people. Now, many of you have a defense mechanism, you think. And that defense mechanism is 911. But that's just part of your programming process. That's part of your brainwashing. So you regurgitate what you've been taught all your life in case of emergency or some type of police emergency, call 911. You have an intruder, call 911. Someone seeks to rape your baby, call 911. Someone seeks to kill your baby, call 911. But the Akawu tells us to learn and observe nature. So looking here, you see a big, powerful, bloodthirsty male lion who we all have been taught and trained is the king of the jungle. Now, we're looking at it with our own eyes. We see the crocodiles. We see these big 2,000 pound buffaloes. We see the elephant. We see the hippopotamus. How big and powerful they are. But we say that the male lion is the king of the jungle. Just another regurgitation. When we think in terms of a one-on-one -on -one fight, that might be the case sometimes. But we're talking about community as the solution to our problem. That means that all of these black organizations, conscious or not, have to come together. All of these black men that are in the church, in the mosque, in politics, working down at the, at the gas station, the unemployed black men. And by the way, unemployment only exists in an unnatural, artificial reality. There is no such thing as unemployment in the natural world. But I digress. What we need to do is come together. We need to learn from our oppressors that although they may disagree on certain things and one may call themselves a Democrat, the other may say, I'm a Republican. The other may say, I'm independent. One may say, I'm communist. I believe in democracy. I believe in socialism. But when it comes time to fight against the darker nations of the planet, you see them come together, put their differences aside, and come together to put an end to the threat that they consider a threat, and that is the black man, black woman, and darker people of the planet. So in this picture you see this big powerful lion that attempted to make one of the buffalo calves a male. And what you see is the male buffalo chasing this big powerful so-called king of the jungle away. If we have a defense like this, there would be no Trayvons. There would be no Cody Ingham's. There would be no Chicago youth getting killed all over the place and in all the other cities in America. There would be no Jordan Davis. Our baby girls would not be getting raped by predators. In the natural world, there's no such thing as unemployment. Everyone plays a role in the 
defense and sustainability of the community. But because we're in an unnatural world, we look at everything individualistically. And we say, well, I'm going to get me a good job so I can get this and I can get that. And the women buy into it too and say, I got a good man. He got a good job. He makes enough money to take care of our family. But while the men are away, who's playing in your house? All the threats, the outside threats are looking and seeing that your child and your woman, sorry ladies, I'm not trying to be chauvinistic, but it's just a simple fact that men don't fear women in that way. So when they see that the man is gone, they see vulnerability. So that's the significance of so many black males being in prison, that we don't have this. We don't have the very basics that the buffalo have. This wall of defense chasing this bloodthirsty animal away. If there are no males in this picture, then the lion is walking away with one of those calves. You best believe it. But these men aren't afraid. These men are standing up. These male buffalo are standing up to the so-called king of the jungle. So a picture is worth a thousand words. So whatever I have not said, just meditate and reflect on this picture alone. And you'll see what we need to do as a people. This has been Daku Akabo Wakatu.